Hi everyone, it's Liz the Frugal Libertarian and today I am here to discuss with you my book report on Jefferson on Freedom, which are the letters of wisdom, advice, and hints on freedom, democracy, and the American way, written by Thomas Jefferson. It's an awesome little collection of Jefferson's letters, of Jefferson's own writings. They've really taken this book and edited it into the most basic letters that they could get, the most clear-cut on topic. One of the things I thought was really cool that I picked up on while reading it is that the John Adams HBO miniseries, when they were coming up with their dialogue for what Jefferson was saying, clearly there was nobody recording back then what the day-to-day -day that Jefferson was saying. I realized reading the letters that they actually took the words from his writings and used it as lines for the miniseries. I am a huge Thomas Jefferson fan. I don't like how the progressivism is trying to, for a lack of better words, delete him from American history. I think that's incredibly wrong. Um, I don't think they're giving anybody any favors by doing that. Um, Basically, to me, you're taking somebody who was brilliant, he was a brilliant writer, he spoke so much on freedom. One of his big concerns, which he goes into in the letters, is that he thinks that there should be a Bill of Rights attached to the Constitution, and that's one of the first things he says. And he goes into it several times about how there should be freedom of religion, there should be freedom of the press, there should be, you know, and he just goes on. Um, and how he thinks any constitution lacking a Bill of Rights is not valid, that he wouldn't support it. Even though, yes, Thomas Jefferson owned slaves, so did George Washington, so did James Madison, I don't think that changes what he did and what he said. Now, Thomas Jefferson, on his epitaph, on his memorial, lists three accomplishments. One, that he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Two, he wrote the act before the Virginia State Legislature for religious freedom. And three, that he helped to found the University of Virginia. He was not proud of having been the official third president of the United States or the official second vice president of the United States. He did not really consider that a high point of his career. He considered his high points, his writing and the fact that he helped to found a college, he did not see it as his act as president. And I always think that's kind of commendable of him. This letter is on January 16th, 1787 page 23 of this copy of this book. I am persuaded myself that the good sense of the people will always be found to be the best army. They may be led astray for a moment, but will soon correct themselves. The people are the only censors of their governments, and even their errors will tend to keep those to the true principles of their institution. To punish these errors so severely would be to suppress the only safeguard of the public liberty. The ways to prevent these irregular interpositions of the people is to give them full information of their affairs through the channel of the public papers and to contrive that those papers should penetrate the whole mass of the people. What he is saying right there is that he wanted transparency of government. He wanted everything the government was doing, every paper, every warrant, every everything to be public. He wanted the public to know what the government was doing at all times and consider that that is what would keep people safest. That was what would keep the government honest. It would keep the people doing what they need to do. It was just, I just liked that. And when he says um, on the next page 24, when he says, if once they become inattentive to the public affairs, you and I and Congress and assemblies, judges and governors shall all become wolves. 
one of the most striking things he speaks out, of course, like I said, he speaks out about Bill of Rights. He speaks, speaks out about individual freedoms, freedom from government, government accountability, just like I read to you. Um, there was also in there, he talks about the threat of government co consistently taxing somebody about how how is a man supposed to survive if he earns 16 and 15 go to, you know, he earns $16 and 15 of those dollars go to the government. How is he supposed to live on one? And governments must be kept to extremely small sizes to extremely small budgets to keep the people able to keep their income to keep them free so they're not in effect the slaves of the government so this is the february book report letters and writings by thomas jefferson fantastic if you've never read anything by jefferson i recommend grabbing this book it is short it is quick it takes tiny excerpts um he it has his inaugurational addresses it has his letters it has his writings it has his memoir it's just fantastic and for something so quick and easy to read you get a really good picture of what he thought and his opinions on things and i think when you read it you get a better idea of why we had a revolution to begin with i'm going to take a different detour next month Next month, I'm actually going to sit and read Confessions of a Slacker Mom. I will have a link to this in the description below on Amazon if you'd like to read it with me. Otherwise, I will be coming to you on March 1st with this review. It is by Muffy Mead Farrow. And uh, I know it's based on a blog that she wrote. And like I said, I'll have it. In the description i'm kind of excited to start it i've had it on my bookshelf and kind of went oh i'd like i'd like to read that because i'd like to give an opinion on that um if you did read the jefferson letters this month with me please go ahead and tell me in the comments if you've never read it and would like to read it please let me know if i've what i said stimulated you to read it finally um give me your opinion of jefferson i will see you um next month with the book report for Confessions of a Slacker Mom. Links to both books on Amazon will be down below. Keep in mind those are not sponsored content links. Those are just links if you're interested in reading them with me. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon with another topic video. Bye!